Here we are at the birds playing field in Brough for the first time since the 1970s since anybody's done any archaeological work here. The work in the 70s was a rescue attempt as a field was being transferred into a playing field and passers-by from the East Riding Archaeological Society and local residents noticed Roman remains being disturbed. So they alerted the Ministry of Works and because this is a scheduled ancient monument and a protected site they brought in loads of topsoil with limestone and sand in it to cover it up. So what we've done here is mark out a trench 25 metres by 3 metres over the ground penetrating radar signal which suggests the location of the D-shaped structure which may or may not be the lost Roman theatre of Brough. It's clear from the very first scoops of the digger, however, that we've got the whole history of Roman Britain almost encapsulated in what's been found in the topsoil. For here, this red, shiny, very characteristic material is Samian pottery. This dates from the early period of the Roman conquest of Britain from around AD 43 through to about AD 250 when it stops coming into Britain in any quantity. And by a fluke, on this piece, we've actually got the potter's stamp. So an expert will be able to tell us who made this pottery, who, who, who owned the Ophicina, our pottery factory, in Gaul, which is where this stuff was made. At the other end, we've got this material, very characteristic because of the groove on the top and its pretty crude calcite gritted appearance. This is known by archaeologists as Huntcliffe pottery, called after a signal station at the Yorkshire coast and this dates from about 340 AD or so. So from this alone, from our very first scoops, we can tell you that there's been occupation here for the span of the Roman period.